Hi friends, today we'll be creating some props for our FPS game map. This is the last episode of creating the map assets, and I think this one will be the easiest. As always, I'll enable screencast keys so you guys can take a look at what I'm clicking. Same as always, I'm going to delete the lights and the camera, and I'm going to create a scale reference by enables, enabling snapping, going to uh, first person, or sorry, front view, moving up with G and Z, and then S shift Z to scale it to about the size of the character. First, I want to create some kind of a box, uh, so I'll just add a simple cube. In edit mode, move it up so it's kind of flat on the ground. And then in uh, object mode, you can enable rotate and scale here, so snapping applies to those as well. And then press S to scale. I think this is about the good size for a box. You can see the scale is 0 0.54 if you're interested in making the exact same one. I'll disable snapping for now and then I'll firstly select this front face and the back face press E to extrude S and uh, shift Y to scale them like this then I'll do the left and right extrude right click S shift uh, S shift X actually and scale it about roughly the same size and then I'll do the top and bottom one extrude right click S shift Z scale these ones. Now we have these faces that we need to kind of inset for them to look good. So I will extrude and then press Alt S to kind of scale them down. This is pretty much our box. Um, what you can do is use the knife tool. So for example, press K to use it and then maybe add like a chip here. And then you can delete these faces by selecting them, pressing X to delete, and then selecting these uh, vertices, pressing F, and then take these two and press J to kind of merge them, and you'll have kind of like a chip there. That's something you can do. I'm not going to do that. I don't really like it, but if you do, feel free to do it. I'll name this one like Crate or something like that. Cool thing you can also do is maybe create some planks inside of here to see how that looks. I'll keep it simple for now. Next I'll create a barrel, so I'll go mesh, cube, and do the same thing I did with the box. Enable snapping in edit mode, move it up, in object mode just scale it down to roughly about this size. I'll hide the scale, add a loop cut like this and a loop cut like this. I'll select these uh, corners, press S, Shift, Z to kind of scale it down. And then I'll select the top faces and the bottom faces. Press E, S, Shift, Z to kind of get something like this. And then E, S, Z to kind of scale it down like that. Also, I'll add about three loop cuts to the middle. Right click to center them. Select the middle one. Enable a proportional editing and press S shift uh, Z and Then you can play around with how big of a bump you want with the mouse wheel. I want something like this Again, you can add the chips as before with the knife tool, uh, but that's up to you. I'll leave it like this Next I want to create some kind of a bench so I'll enable my scale just to have it there add a cube and then in edit mode move it up and you can disable proportional editing S and Z to kind of scale down the, the size and then I'll move it about to the middle of the character then I'll go to side view and press S and Y to, to make something like this I think this is a bit too short for a bench so I'll press S and X as well to kind of make it longer and this might be too tall for it so I'll just move it down even more for the legs of this I'll just add another cube, press S, move it up, move it to the side. And then in the side view, uh, I'll press S, Shift, Z to kind of create a uh, leg for the chair or for the bench. Something like that. And then in side view, you can Shift, D to duplicate and just move it to the other side. 
Also, I'll add a loop cut to each leg. Select them both with Alt and right click, and then just move them down. You should probably disable snapping for this one. I'll select these edges right here. Press E, S, Shift, Z, and you can see it kind of doesn't work. So I'll go here to individual origin, S, Shift, Z, and get something like this. Also, I will select these top faces of the leg. Press uh, S to scale them to get something like that. I kind of like these legs, so I'll select them, enable snapping, shift D, and just move it to the other side. And then I'll select these side faces of the bench, press Ctrl B, and get something like that. Now we can use this bench and we can create another one if we really want to. So I'll duplicate it, rename the first one to bench one, and then edit this one. I'll delete these beveled faces since they should be already selected. And then I'll just fill the, uh, the ones that I have. So just select the edges, press F, and then I'll select this, uh, disable snapping, press S and Y to maybe create some kind of a plank and then I can duplicate them like this. And then select uh, the two ones and just duplicate them to the other side. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's a bench. Benches aren't for perfect. And then I can duplicate one of these by holding, uh, by pressing L while hovering over it, shift D, and then I'll rotate around the Z axis for 90 degrees and move it roughly to the place where the uh, legs are with G and X, move it down, press S and X, or sorry, S and Y to scale it down like this. And you have set, you can have something like that, enable snapping, shift D and move it to the other side. So I don't know which one you like better, but I'll keep both. I don't know what to call the next thing, but I have it in my mind so we can try and create it. Uh, I'll add another cube like this, press S to scale it move it up so it's kind of flat on the ground and then I want to get the roughly roughly the size of the character so something like this maybe 2.5 units I'll move it to one of the corners uh, or sorry I select it and then move it to one of the corners maybe something like that maybe even larger so we'll go like this and then uh, in the modifiers tab I'll add a mirror modifier and I'll enable the X, Y axis, so it creates something like this. Maybe this is too short, so I'll just move it up a bit more. I'll apply the modifier, and whilst in edit mode, I'll add a plane that I will move up, and then press S, Shift, Z to kind of scale it to uh, each edge. And now you can add loop cuts. Maybe I'll add three loop cuts on each side like that. Select this middle vertex, enable proportional editing, and then just G and Z to create something like this. And maybe I'll select these ones as well, and then G and Z to kind of move them down. They can be kind of like a, maybe tent or some of some sort. I don't know what to call it, but I know I can take these edges right here, E to extrude, uh, make sure you disable proportional editing, I'll move it up a bit and then I will scale it, just so we have a bit more detail on that. I'll call it a tent, I'm not sure what, what the hell this is called. And lastly, I think I'll create some kind of a carriage or something like that, so I want to create some wheels, uh, so I'll just add a cylinder actually. A cylinder down here you can change the you know topology of it so I'll go for about 12 vertices around uh, in edit mode I'll move it uh, or I'll rotate it RX 90 to get something like this and then I'll move it up so it's kind of flat on the ground right there and this is obviously way too big so I'll, in object mode just scale it down to something like this inside view I'll make it much thinner and I'll move it to roughly about here and then you can use the mirror modifier again on the y-axis just the y-axis this time so I'll select these edges right here or the, the front and the back faces uh, extrude S shift Y to create something like this and then I will S shift 
uh, Y like this and create something along these lines. Then I can take the face select tool and select the faces like this and then you can go into wireframe view and you see to select both the front and the back faces. So now you can see that selected. Press X, delete the faces and then I want to fill these in. So something like this uh, and then you can kind of just select this edge, press F and it will fill everything around it. So it will take a while but uh, I don't think it's too big of a problem. It might be kind of fun. It's satisfying to look at this. Once you have this sort of a, v a wheel, uh, we can add the actual carriage thingy. So I'll just add another cube whilst in edit mode. Make sure you reset the uh, 3D cursor with Shift C. Add this cube. I'll move it up a bit to something like this. Press S and Y to scale it down, S and Z to scale it down like this, and I'll probably move it to around there. And then I can rotate it roughly so it kind of stands on the ground like this. And you should probably turn off snapping for this as well. Uh, since we are using a mirror modifier, you'll need to add a loop cut in the middle and delete the back faces like this, and make sure you enable clipping as well make this easier uh, or to make this better I'll just add a loop cut here select this this face I'll go to normal here and I will extrude on the on the z-axis like that to get a nice maybe I don't know what you would call it a border of some sort then uh, I will take this face and I will extrude from it to the middle so it kind of has you know a wheel barrel thingy and I will also add another loop cut here and I will extrude from this point so this could be like a handle for it or something like that make sure it goes it's not too long but you'll need to rotate this back a bit maybe move it up make sure you go back to global Something like that. Make sure it's resting on this, but it's also there. And then I will add two faces here. And then you can double tap G to kind of drag on it. And I'll take these faces, extrude, Alt S to create something like that. Okay. So that might be some, some sort of a carriage. Again, you can do planks in here. Uh, I like it this way, so I won't. And that will be carriage. Okay, so we have some props here. Uh, let me just lay them out as always. So our benches, our carriage, uh, our barrel, and we have a tent as well. Like that. Now it'll be time to color them, so make sure all of them have their material. I'll go to the shading tab and to that material I will add the image texture as always connect it to the base color and open up our base palette. And then in UV editing again I will select all of them. Select them all in here S the scale and then I'll move them to this wooden part because probably a lot of them will be wooden. And also in the material make, make sure you turn off specular. And I would say we don't need to add any colors, uh, so maybe for the benches I will take uh, these kind of middle parts of the leg by just holding ALT, just like that, and I will move them to the lighter part of the wood, so we have something like that. Also for this bench you can take like these two, for example, and have them like that. I'll do that. Uh, for the barrel I'll take the bottom and the top part like this and move them to the lighter area. For the box I'll take these inside faces and again move them to the lighter area. For these uh, I might just take the wheels or like the inside of the wheels again by just holding ALT and then also take the inside of the handle 
like that. And now I, I can apply the mirror modifier, so that's good. And then for this part, uh, I want this to be a different color, so I'll make it this kind of pinkish red color that I have. And that should be it. So these are pretty easy to color because there's not a lot to do. Um, I will save this as well. And when it comes to exporting, make sure they're all in the middle here, so, or you have a good origin point for them. Oh, you see this one uh, doesn't work too well, but there it is. And this one either. Once you have them all, select them, Rx minus 90, location, rotation, and scale, Rx 90. Make sure you applied all the modifiers, and then you can export by selecting them, export FBX, or sorry, that's not FBX, export FBX. We'll have props, and this will be our barrel. You can definitely create more uh, variations of it. Of course, selected objects, mesh, FBX unit scale. Good, uh, that's it for today. Next time we'll be making our map. Or no, we actually have to make uh, maybe some kind of a shack that you can actually enter in. And then we'll be making our map. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something new and join me next time. Okay now, bye bye.